In the last video we did some preparation work so that in today's episode we can finish implementing our drag and drop for our items. So let's get started. First off we will go into our top down BP under blueprints and open the top down character. In here we will create a new variable called is shift down. It should be a boolean. Then right click somewhere here and search for shift left shift and when it's pressed we want to set is shift down to true and when it's released we will set it to false we will need that later to control whether we want to split a stack or just move it anywhere else now compile save close the top down character and then we will go inside of our drag and drop folder right click create a new blueprint class and search for drag drop operation. Select that and call that item drag. Open that up and in here we will create two new variables. The first one will be a reference to the inventory slot we dragged from. So call that drag slot and its type will be inventory slot reference. Make it editable and expose on spawn. Then create another variable and that will be was shift down. That will be a boolean. Also make that editable and expose on spawn. Compile save. That's it for our drag and drop operation. Now we will go to the widgets and we have to change our inventory slot a bit. So open that and on the graph Go to your functions, under mouse there should be an on mouse button down. So on mouse button down we currently just check for the right mouse button. So when it's false, when we didn't click the right mouse button, we want to search for detect drag if pressed. And the drag key will be our left mouse button, since we will use that to control our drag and drop, and the pointer event you will get from the mouse event of the input here. Then after the detect drag is pressed, return. And the return value will come from our detect drag if pressed. Let's save. Now you want to override a new function that is called on drag detected. And when we detect a drag, we first want to create a widget. And the class will be our item our dragged item that we created in the last video. The item info will be our item info. So the item that is on our slot and the amount will be the amount on our slot. Connect that to the execution. After we did that, we want to create a drag and drop operation. Class will be the one we just created called item drag then connect the execution path here. Now for the drag slot, get a reference to yourself. Connect that. For the was shift down, we will grab in our inventory reference. Off of that, get the top down char. And from our top down char, we will get the boolean we created called is shift down. Connect that to the was shift down. Our default drag visuals, so the widget that will be moved when we move our mouse, that will be the return value of our dragged item widget we created. And for the pivot, choose mouse down. Then you can connect the return value to the operation of the return node and connect the execution wires. Now we want to override another function that is called on drag over. So when we drag something over a slot, and before we do anything here, we will need new variables. First one will be called dragged over, which will be a boolean. Then add another variable and that will be the default style of our slot button. Change the variable type to button style. And now compile and save. And our default style is already defined when we go to the designer and on our button we have a style here. You can right click, copy that and paste it in our variable here, down here, paste that. So that's the default style we have. 
and we want to create another variable and that will be our dragged over style compile save you can also paste it here and make sure to open it up expand the disabled and for the tint open the hovered go to that tint and we will drag that to the top of our widget here so we can reference it then let's go to the disabled and for the tint choose our orange here compile and save that way when we drag over a disabled item slot it can still change the color to orange now when we drag over we first want to drag in our dragged over and search for a branch because we only want to execute this once so when we are already dragging over so it's true we return true but if we didn't drag over before we will get the operation our drag and drop operation and cast that to our item drag when the cast fails we will also go to a return node check that here however if it is our item drag we will set our drag over to true and we will get our slot button search for set style and the in style will be our dragged over style after that we can return true as well now that's it for when we drag over however we also need an event for when our mouse leaves the slot so override another function that is called on drag leave and for that also grab in our dragged over search for branch and now when it's true we only want to execute something and we will get our operation cast that to item drag on our true path here and if it is our item drag we set our drag over to false and grab the slot button set the style to our default style so we just reset our style when we leave our slot button now compile save and we should be also ready to test that so when we pick up our 50 health potion now left click and move we see the widget we created in the last episode moving here and when it goes over an empty slot we see that it changes to orange so our player knows that he can drop it there okay so now we also need the functionality for dropping something let's override another function called on drop and make sure that you have enough space here now first off get the operation and cast that to our item drag so first we check if it's really our item that we're dragging and not that we're dragging our widget or something like that then also of the as item drag get the slot and after the drag slot search for not equal object and we want to check that the drag slot is not ourselves so get a reference to self and search for branch so when it's our item drag we will go into the branch if it's not go into the return node if the drag slot isn't ourselves we will get the drag slot and promote that to a local variable call that local dragged or lo just local slot and set that for the true path for the false path add a return node and this time we return with true because we dealt with our drag and drop operation but we simply don't want to do anything if it was ourselves then after we set the local slot we will get our dragged over and set that to false because that will be the end of our drag and drop operation so we will reset everything get the slot button set style to our default style again and after that we will get our inventory reference and first off we will try to call the function add to index the from index we will get from our local slot and off of that get the index get slot index and the to index 
we will get from our cells. So in our variables, we have our slot index. That will be the two index. Off of the success, search for a branch. So if we manage to add to the index, we will return true. If we didn't manage to add to index, we will get our drag and drop operation. And of the item drag, search for a was shift down. Then search for a branch. Connect that to the false path of our first branch. So if our shift key was down, we will get our inventory reference again and try to split index, split stack to index. The from index, again, we will get from our local slot and its slot index. The to index will be our own slot index. And for the amount, get the local slot, search for amount, and divide that by two. So we will split it in a half again. Then of the success, also search for a branch. If we manage to split stack to index, we will return true. And if we didn't manage to split the stacks, we can also try to swap the slot. So get the inventory reference and search for swap slots. Index one will be our slot index from the local slot. Just copy that over. And index two will be our slot index. And our swap slots will basically ever succeed. So after that, we return true. Now back here for our false path of the was shift key down, we will just go into our swap slots. Now compile and save. Another thing we'll have to do is go to the main widget so that when we drop something in our main widget, we can throw it away, which is very common for most games. So go to the main widget on the graph tab uh, on drop. When our cast to the widget drag fails, so we don't drag around a widget, then we will get our operation and cast to item drag. Connect that to the cast failed. If that also fails, we return false. But if it isn't, we want to call our remove functionality. And if it is a stackable item, we will show our throw away widget. Remember that we already implemented that functionality in our action menu, so we don't have to do it twice. Just go to the action menu on the graph for our on-click throw button. We will get everything here. Copy that. And in our main widget, paste that. Then connect the cast to item drag to the branch. And from our as item drag, we get the slot. And from the slot, get the index. And replace all of our current indices variables here with our slot index. So let's do that quickly. Index here and index for the update function. Then also of the drag slot, search for the amount there. And remove that with the amount down here. Also get the item info and replace that with the item info from our action menu. Also, after we remove item at index, we don't want to set visibility, but we want to return successful. So check that here. Then when we get the reference to our throwaway widget, we don't have to do this. So delete that, get our throwaway widget. Remember that we have a reference here in our main widget. Connect that to the update. Connect that to the set visibility. Get our inventory widget. Get the slots panel. Slot panel. Connect that to the set is enabled. Remove the set visibility because we don't want to hide our main widget. And after that, return successful. 
Now compile and save. Let's test it. So if we get our 50 health potions and drag them over here, drop them, we will move them. If we hold shift while dragging, we will split the stack. We can drag them on top of each other again to recombine our stack. And we can also grab our maps here, change the position of this. And when we drag a non-stackable item on our main widget, it will be removed. If we drop our health potions, however, we will see our throwaway widget. And we can enter account there. Confirm. Now one problem, however, is that when we get an item, grab that and drop it in our inventory, it will still be removed. So let's fix that. And the reason this occurs is because when we go back to our inventory widget, and on our graph, we don't have any implemented functionality for on drop, so that way the on drop of the main widget will be fired. So override a new function on drop and just return true. So now when we test, everything works fine just before, but when we drop it here, nothing will happen. Alright, that's it for this video. In the next one, we will create a detailed information widget to show when we hover over our items. See you then.